I've been building a split screens effect and I want to share it with you. Now let's get right into the point. Now the first thing that you will need to do is to actually download the effect. Well, similar to all the other freebies that I've been making, all you have to do is go into the website and then fill out this sign up form. That way you can receive the download on your email. I do this so that I don't get spam because I was getting a ton of spam so I had to do something about it. Now the next step is to install the effect. All you have to do is double click the DRFX file and then it will prompt you to install it in DaVinci Resolve. After that, you sometimes have to restart DaVinci, sometimes you don't, it might show up right away. After you have installed this, you will find the split screen effect in the effects tab in your DaVinci Resolve. It will be under a folder called Suave Split Screen or something like that. So just click there and then you will find it. Now, how do we make this work? Similar to the 3D mosaic effect that I built and I shared in the last video, all you have to do is bring two clips into your timeline or select two clips that you're working already with. And I'm going to get rid of the sound right here and we're going to cut this here and we're going to right click and turn these into a fusion composition or a fusion clip. If you want, you can rename these. Go here, press F2 and then write split screen just so that you know where it is on your actual project. You can also go and add a color to it if you want, just to make sure that you're easily finding this. And then you're gonna go to the effects and find this while these splits. Here you just drag and drop these on top and it might take a little bit sometimes depending on your system. And then if we go here to the effects section, you will be able to select all the from the 11 different styles that you have here and if it doesn't change right away, I'm not sure why that is, but you just have to press play and then it will update that. Also here you have the positioning of these that you can change. Sometimes it can get a little bit buggy. I think it might have to do with the connection of this specific section. I'm going to figure that out still. And then here the background color. Now here, if you want, you can make the background transparent. If you're going to be working, let's say you put this over something else and here you can actually get rid of the border or put these to zero and it will automatically just get rid of them make them a little bit bigger there and here you can adjust the color of that and you can also make these invisible by just dragging all of these to zero it's easier if you just use the borders section now I do have a couple more steps with three and four split screens and I want to build a couple more but I want to turn them into an actual product later on. So in the meantime you can just use the one with two split screens. That way you can get a feel for it and then if you find it to be useful on your projects then you can see go to the website and grab the pro version of the toolkit that I'm building. Now on a recent video I also shared a 3D mosaic tool that I've been building and you can download that one. So check out that video right here.